Why it is a fictional story. Small talk. Getting the facts straight. Audio talk. I think the main reason why it is fictional is because I didn't want to cause a controversy between two dividends of people, especially with something that is not true, and that means no harm whatsoever. And besides, I don't know if you know this or not, but it is stated, it is stated that every fictional story should have some piece of truth. And that's what the Custer's Alive stories have. Like, for instance, recently they have uncovered the truth about UFO and alien existence. So what I did was when I was writing the second book, I included a take of a UFO scene in the book itself, which to me worked out fine. Although in the first book, the forest was the main discussion along with the trees and all of the living elements made up with it. And the third book, let alone, had murders. And even though nothing was true, murders happened in real life too. So, when I say this, I mean that everything I am saying right now is legitimately true. But the story isn't always true itself, in some contexts. I mean, to me, in fictional stories, most of the time they just slack on detail. So when I wrote this story and all of the other ones, I wanted to do my best not to add poor quality detail because no one likes that of a story. Small talk, getting the facts straight. To get the facts straight, First, we must look at an example of a part of the Custer's Alive story, one of the stories, at least, in which we will be drawing lines from the third book, probably one of the most greatest books in the series by far. So, instead of me waiting to read that off, I will start by citing, No more. Then three seconds had passed, and you could hear the wind blowing the dead brown leaves down the windy night road. With this conclusion, you could almost decipher or make out to be the sounds of dead men dragging their feet in the grass. It sure was scary, but when Jacob's mom had got up out of her chair to walk over to him, he quickly shut the door. Just when he had done this, a huge ripple effect had sucked the leaves in like a vacuum and then, by releasing them, it had nearly scuffed the side of a delivery van that had passed by on the night road. I used this line for this particular project because it sets a persona of realism towards that particular part of the story, and in a sense it can be true, but the plot of the story isn't always true. And I didn't want it to be true, because it is a fictional story, and that's not changing. But I really hope you like these stories. They are one of a kind, and they ain't going anywhere. In fact, you can listen to them whenever, because I am saving up pop cans to earn money, turn them in, and all of that money I earn will go towards DVDs. CDs, cases, paper for writing, and beneficial material for the channel. So I hope you will expect, accept this stuff that I'd be giving you. I'm really passionate about music, and I really hope you are passionate about my music. I look forward to go, giving you a luxury of my music, burnt to discs, and I would like to Thank you all for watching, listening. It's always a joy having you watch and tune into the channel. I look forward to sharing more content with you. Please make sure to stay tuned for the second channel. And I think that's pretty much it. Thanks.